I came last year on a boiling hot day, it's slightly different today, but it's good to see what is probably the most attended agricultural show in the country. I think 120,000 people will come here. I think it's probably the largest show and it's great. I mean, it's really important, these shows, for ag the agricultural industry and the food industry to show themselves off, to show them at their best. There are all these wonderful cattle here. So we've got a problem with the beef industry at the moment with prices very low. This is a great chance for industry to show just how we can produce the best beef in the world. We have the best animals, we have the best landscape and the best husbandry. And of course, we have very efficient retailers and we'd like to get them to work together, which we did last week at a summit. But I think the other way, it's very interesting for the public to see what's going on in the farming industry and see the latest technologies. Uh, I was in America exactly this time last week, uh, pushing British exports uh, of beef and possibly opening up the land market long term, but also looking at technologies. And that's the future of the farming industry. So I want to make sure that uh, the UK is the centre and is the world centre of advanced agricultural technology. So yesterday we made the big announcement here in Yorkshire, £8 million going into the Agritech Centre to make sure the most advanced research goes on right here in the middle of Yorkshire. And that research is cascaded straight onto farms. So it's not some abstruse academic idea. We put into practical operation and make the gains from it. And that's really important for me. Today, of course, we announced also £19 million of our RDP, which goes to individual farms. That goes to 2,500 farms. That will help yeah. 5,000 jobs. And here in Yorkshire, that's about 2.5 million. So that's up to £35,000 per farm.